22 BC, the Carthaginian general Hannibal successfully led an invasion force over these 15,000 foot high mountains, using equipment still used by climbers today. But then he got stuck. There were some passes that were simply unclimbable. The ancient texts record that as Hannibal descended the Roman side of the Alps, he was confronted with a massive precipice which he couldn't pass. The invasion was on the brink of disaster. But then his engineers proposed a remarkable solution. They would destroy the very rock of the mountain using a surprisingly violent chemical formula. Modern historians believe the blocked route to have been either the Clapier Pass or the Traverset Pass, both standing at over 8,000 feet, a limestone rock face that was completely impassable. Perhaps the ancients understood the secrets of chemical reactions better than modern scientists give them credit for. If we zoom in, we can see that the key components in the reaction here are an acid and a base. In this example, the base is the rock, which is limestone, calcium carbonate, and the acid is the vinegar or acetic acid. If we can push the two together to start the reaction off, we can see that straight away the acid has released hydrogen ions, which are combining with the oxygen and hydrogen from the base to form H2O, or water. Uh, the remaining components combine together to form a salt, which we can see here. The whole reaction is exothermic, and it's giving off a lot of heat. So we can see that if we look back at the wider scale, the salt and water now permeate it. And if we touch it, it's completely friable. Hannibal was facing the ultimate on-pass. Just like now, night's falling, the temperature's dropping, his army is about to freeze to death and die with no way down to those fertile plains below. He's got to get away through the rock. We're going to attempt it now. Not only was this a huge 300-foot expanse of rock, but a very dangerous precipice as well. The fire would have been enormous, the progress painstaking, as Hannibal's men slowly worked their way down the rock face, creating a path for the animals. The temperature of the rock is now 1,200 degrees. But is this high enough to accelerate the acid-base reaction? Oh, boy! Look at that boiling off there. It smells disgusting. I can see the rock cracking in front of my eyes. It's boiling and steaming in here. Oh, I love the way that breaks. It's not a boulder anymore, is it? It's just a loose conglomeration of pebbles. Like John, Hannibal's men used picks to smash through the limestone enabling them to open up a zigzag track that minimized the steepness, thus allowing the pack animals and elephants to descend. After four days of work and near starvation, Hannibal had done it. He had blasted his way through the Alps. Hannibal plowed through Italy down into Rome and inflicted the severest losses the Roman army ever suffered in its entire history. But although coming over the Alps allowed him the element of surprise, it ultimately was the cause of Hannibal's downfall. It's ironic that Hannibal used the best technology available to him to, to do this insurmountable task of getting an army over these mountains. But in that, he didn't have the capability to bring his heavy equipment with him. When it came to taking the towns through fortifications without siege machines, which he couldn't bring over these mountains, he was on a hopeless task. Technology allowed him to get there, but then the door was slammed in his face. <laughs> 